EJ said, EJ says, yeah, we need to save, start saving these. This video is sponsored by The Great Courses Plus. Can we go one more here? Yeah. I'll tell you a little bit more about them later. You got a stick, I don't. But we will make it sound like your problem. Man, it is my problem. That now that the walls were problem. insulated, it's time to move on to hanging drywall, starting with the ceiling. I was going to be leaving Robert to work during the days, since I was busy on the farm. But I was working with him in the evenings after work. Get some rain out of today. Oh, it's just blowing through, huh? Yeah. Once Robert had the ceiling done, we worked on installing the recessed can lighting. Since we installed the drywall over the top of the plywood that was originally there, we thought it would be easiest to cut through both at the same time. Felt like we were doing some weird swan dance or something. But it worked well to keep most of the drywall dust off the jigsaw. And then it was up in the attic for me to mount the cans. I temporarily installed the lights, just so it'd be easier to work on the drywall. You could either have it on, Whoa. you could have it on, um, you want me to turn it off and then you're going to film it? Or no. <laughs> you can have it on. You'd have um, to come out again for you know, texturing and paint. Rolls or whatever, or just on a plate. Uh -huh. And they have like barbecue, you could get barbecue and then you could get either potatoes. Robert was telling me about some of the fine Tennessee cuisine he had had recently. Do you yeah. sink these in flush or? Like yeah, that? yeah. You got to have them so it doesn't get touched so here, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. How, how many? And you you generally want to put them on the most outer edge. Oh, okay. Just a couple in each section. Two, two. Yeah, I normally mat if match that pattern or something, right? I was always picking Robert's brain, trying to get tips on things. I don't have a lot of drywall experience. While Robert was hanging cheat rock on the walls, I worked on installing the metal corner pieces on all the exposed corners. Robert cuts and shaves everything with just the razor blade, which he says is fastest for him. the curvature. You think you think that's accurate? Huh? I don't know. You don't know? Inside the state park? I rolled joint tape out on all the seams. Little loft areas. But it's stopped by every single morning. They kind of just leave you alone, don't they? Yeah, but they're, I mean, they're so And just like that, the drywall was done. Felt like it went quick for me, at least. We told Robert he had to give us some tips on mudding. Oh, I said we're going to mix up another batch of mud. Because <coughs> this is, I'm using powdered mud. The dryness of the first coat will, will suck the moisture out and um, mess up keep you from continuing to work. He said he likes the fast set mud because otherwise you have to stop working for a day to let it dry before starting on the second coat. With the fast set, by the time you make it to the end, the beginning is ready to be gone over again. We just gotta, it's like mixing a pancake mix or something. So it's ready to go. We gotta grab our knife and um, here we go. So this is an eight inch blade that I'm using here. And I go across the joints to push it into the holes so it gets a good tight bond and, and we don't get cracking down the road. Okay, I'm 
our knife off and then carefully go over it. And the main thing here is not to put too much mud on. You don't want to slop it on too much. Here we go. Because the more you put on, the more sanding will. I use a sponge to smooth with, but the more, the more mess you're going to wind up with. The drywall mudding I've done in the past, I know I've used way too much mud. Definitely has a bit of an art to it. I thought it was satisfying filling the exposed corner seams. The raised corner of the metal creates a nice edge to run your knife down. It's also nice filling in the tapered edges of the drywall. The hard part for me was mudding the seam between two pieces of drywall that were cut and didn't have tapered edges. It takes a lot of practice and patience. Start the trowel out. Up. Cool. Cool. Right? You call that a uh, inside corner. Inside corner. Yeah, so that's an inside corner. Okay. We're gonna prep up a tape joint between the first and second coats, and I'm using a sponge technique. You could use um, sandpaper, but I I, I prefer using a wet sponge. Basically taper the edges of this down so that we get a smooth joint out of it and a smooth wall. And I'm using the, the sponge with the water on it like a piece of sandpaper to get rid of my knife, crisp knife marks that I put in it that I want to get rid of. I think I have a box out there. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, all the lights are <laughs> Moving on to texturing, all the lights had to come back out. The windows and electrical boxes had to be covered. Once Robert was done texturing, the walls in the ceiling were ready for some paint. But before we get to that, I want to tell you about the sponsor of this video, The Great Courses Plus. The older I get, the more curious I am about how the world works. In high school and college, I just don't think I appreciated the opportunities I had learning in the classroom setting. I'm not quite sure when it happened, but now I struggle to make it through a sitcom on TV, but will easily get drawn into a lecture or long-form podcast conversation on an interesting subject. The Great Courses Plus is one of my greatest resources as it's a subscription on-demand video learning service with top-notch lectures and courses from top professors from Ivy Leagues and other great universities globally and experts from places like the National Geographic, the Smithsonian, and the Culinary Institute of America. I think the thing that really sets The Great Courses Plus apart from others is the top quality lectures they have teaching their courses. I'm always instantly drawn to anything outer space, and having Neil deGrasse Tyson break my brain by talking about the dark energy in the cosmos is just about as good as it gets for me. It's just one of the many great courses that I highly recommend. The Great Courses Plus is giving viewers a free trial. Visit thegreatcoursesplus.com slash rainfallprojects or click on the link in the description below to start your free trial today. I can't recommend The Great Courses Plus enough and really encourage you to check them out and would like to thank them for their support. With the drywall all mudded and textured, Robert exited stage left and my mom and Kelly moved in to start painting. They decided to use a paint sprayer to at least do the primer coat and possibly the top coats as well. They covered the floor and windows 
which made the room very dark and ominous. My mom sure is a good sport to volunteer to help paint. It's not the first time she's done this down at our house either. They decided to just roll on the top coats, since Kelly picked out a couple different colors to use. And it's going to be a lot of work taping everything off. Bleeding through a little bit down there, but less each time, Kelly. It looked nice though. They did a great job painting. This time the lights went in for the final time, getting pushed up into place. I worked on installing all the outlets and switches. We put in a ton of outlets. I just don't really think you can have too many, especially in something that's gonna be a workspace. We thought before working on all the trim, it made sense to refinish the wood floors, which meant the room had to be completely emptied. We were hopeful the floors could turn out nice, and I had been looking forward to this step. I gave everything a good sweep, making sure there weren't any screws we missed or other bits of debris. And then I wheeled in the orbital sander I rented in town. It was a slow process, but it was pretty satisfying. I have a lot of sanding to do, but I think it's going to turn out pretty nice. <laughs> 